Hello paper crafters! I have a new item for sale for you. These are some new Nellie Snellen floral punches that I have. Um, this is the first size. It is number FLP027. It's the rose flower. It's the small one. And then I'm gonna, just so you can compare it, this is the next size up. It's FLP028 and that's the rose flower medium and then I'm going to jump a few numbers to FLP030 and give you the rose flower large. Now what I'll do is I'll pan out a little bit so you can compare these three different sizes and to make um, layered flowers you would like to have the three sizes of the flowers and of course as usual for those of you that are all familiar with the Nelly punches one of them cuts you take the cut piece and you put it into the embosser and push down and it embosses and they make gorgeous flowers and this release is going to be a lot of fun I've been talking about this release in some other videos and mentioned it and some of you have been waiting to see what is she talking about what's going to be different and I'll get to that let me get through the products first this is FLP029 and it's called the rose leaf medium FLP029 and then the next one is FLP031 and it's rose leaf jumbo now you, these are different they're not graduated one is a single leaf and one is a tri leaf and in my opinion they're both needed to make some very beautiful florals and what's nice about the Nelly punches is you make your own professional looking flowers out of your own paper that you have so for example if I was using this purple paper to make the background of a card I could use the same punches and make flowers to exactly match now what's so great about this release is that I had three sisters who bought these punches early um, asked if I had them in stock and then they made samples the sisters are Patricia Gale Andy Woods and Susan Fortenberry and they made me up some wonderful samples and I'm going to share it with you so it's kind of like a uh, sister release so they all got together and created their own things and sent them to me so I, I just really was excited about this now this first one I'm gonna pan in a little bit was done by Patricia Patricia Gale she's the um, uh, she's an author you can google her book and check it out I've read it it's a very um, nice mystery kind of scary a little bit um, but very well written I think you'd enjoy it and here's her card and this is such a beautiful card and now here are the florals so I'm gonna bring that close so you can kind of see the details to those flowers and how pretty and how crisp they emboss those little edges just um, do the little crimping right into the the, the embossing part of the punch and you get these beautiful um, results it, it's just so easy to do and then again I, like I said it makes any kind of card work with the colors you have I don't know if Pat Patricia made that butterfly or not but he's adorable I wouldn't put it past her she's pretty tricky I would say the get well soon is from an electronic die cutter and I know this is a Martha Stewart border punch which I don't sell what I am selling here is the um, pun the punches to make these flowers that you see in the corner here but what a beautiful card just lovely and inside she wrote thinking of you as you recover and sending prayers to make you stronger get well soon very nice next one the next one was made by Andy Woods Miss Andy Woods or Mrs and she used again you can see I think this might be a die cut or two and she cut that out weaved a ribbon through used shades of blue and then took um, maybe some blue stickles or some kind of blue glitter and added them to her at roses and she used the tri leaf here and again I want you to see this detail of how beautiful these um, punches punch and cut and emboss 
all in all in those steps. I mean, look at those leaves. They look they look like something you'd buy from one of the professional um, flower makers, and you made that with your with your by yourself with your paper. Just great. I, I love these punches so much. And then in the inside, she put this lovely frame with a outline on it. And you could stamp anything you want in there. Or write a little note. Okay. Now Susan's card. Susan used a very popular die for me. Um, she used the, um, here are the flowers. Remember, that's what I'm selling for this release. But I wanted to let you know that I'm going to bring it up close so you can see those flowers and those colors that she used. How pretty that is, that um, that dark brown and a red combination. I would never think to use that. And how she layered them to give them a different effect. It, it's, it just, it's kind of like a distressed, that, that, um, distress look that's so popular now. And that's why I love to have people either guest design for me or my design team because they, I would never, I never do like shabby cheek um, or uh, distress because it's, it's just not nothing I ever think to do and yet people come up with these beautiful creations with them. And this dye, that is Polynesian Sales. It's a Cherry Lynn dye. It's DL-153, which I do sell. And there is a backing to it. There's an angel wing to it, which I can get, which of course would probably be number DL-153A if you wanted it. And inside the Polynesian sale is this other little die that she put inside the card that I thought was cute, and it says thank you. So if you'd like, I can get the Polynesian. I have the Polynesian dies in stock. I, I could get the sale, but for this release, I'm selling these beautiful flowers. And again, I just want to draw the attention. I'm sorry, I don't know who makes the elegant lady stamp. I, I, I just, it's not ringing a bell to me. Um, but it's such a pretty card. And that would make a beautiful frame for even a, a, a real photograph. On to the next card. Um, this one was made by Patricia Gale. And this has got a lot of things going on, and, and it's just so pretty. I want to I point this out. So I will keep bringing the things close to show the details of the flowers, because that's what I'm trying to get here. But I also will show this die. This die is coming out in a, in a release a few weeks down the road, I would say. And it's um, a set of Marianne um, Creatables. That one's number, you can see it in this corner too, LR. 0214 and my wonderful designer has had this done for quite a while and I'm just behind in getting it out my my fault and I would say the mom here is from an electronic die cutter and then again what I want to point out is these beautiful hand punched hand embossed flowers that you make yourself and inside it says Wishing you a special day that holds all the happiness your heart can imagine. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you. And that's just so beautiful. Um, some people have questioned and emailed me about my mom that I um, don't mention her. And my mom passed away six years ago from a terrible disease called ALS, which is known as Lou Gehrig's disease. And my mom was Dutch uh, from Holland. My dad met her in World War II. And I think that is why I always have been attracted to the Dutch paper crafts way before they were trendy. So, uh, yeah, my mom and I were very close. My parents were married almost 60 years before my mom passed away. So um, I, I don't mention her much, but those who know me um, know that my mom used to craft right by my side. And those that know me from 20-some years ago when I used to do craft sh circuit shows, uh, when I was much younger and could haul things around like that, my mom was always by my side, right there with me doing those. So, um, because it is Mother's Day in a few days, I am thinking of her. So there's that one. And now on to the next one. This one was done by Susan. And Susan has a lot of really neat things. But again, I'm going to draw attention first here to this floral. You see me pulling those stickies off the back, don't you? I'm not tricking you. I, I wrote everything down ahead of time so I wouldn't forget. But there's the rose and the, the um, punch set we're trying to sell. This little die right here is 
That is a Cherry Lynn Corner set. It's number B161. Came out a few weeks ago. And this little basket here with all the little sewing accessories in it. That basket is a Craftables. It's CR1206. And this here, this whole background with this floral and the cutout and where she sanded it down, that's the designables that just came out. I just had show had shown in a video a few weeks ago too. It's number DS0915 and those are back in stock now. I don't think anybody got shut out from those. I for once got right on the button with them and got some in before anyone had to wait. Um, so I just want to show how beautiful the sewing theme of this card is. And inside she went along. Um, if any of you are looking, I'm pretty sure that's a Martha Stewart punch on the edge. I'm not positive, but I think it is. And I think that Happy Birthday is another electronic die cutter. Cut that out. And how she matched the inside to the outside of the card. Just a great job. These sisters did such good work for me. Now this is a card by Andy. And Andy, Andy tricked me when she first started. I didn't know she was a a man or a woman and I do have some men customers I always say my ladies my you know um, but there I do have a few men customers who who create cards and I, I wasn't sure if Andy was one and I think when Andy first bought from me she was buying presents for her sisters so I wasn't sure if it was a brother buying for their sisters but I, I found out through Patricia that Andy was indeed a female and it was kind of it was kind of funny to me because I thought Andy was one of my few male customers in the beginning so and Andy, when she emails me, her southern bell comes right out and you can just hear her southern accent in how she writes. And I laugh. I was born down south. I was born in North Carolina. And I just laugh when I read her emails. It's like it's like a little taste of um, the beginning of my life. I was very small when we moved, but I did have a slight southern accent when I started out. So it was kind of funny. She just Her emails just make me laugh so much how, how she talks in them. So... Um, it says, you are my sunshine. That is, I believe, again, an electronic die cutter. These are some punches. I, I don't sell these. These are old, I think, McGill punches. I know I have some in my collection. But these are the punches I'm selling. And the picket fence and the grass, maybe an uh, electronic die cutter. I'm not sure. But I just want to show the, the simple elegance of it, yet... The details of it it's it kind of it, it strikes me in this card it's things are there's a lot of work in it but it's simple and crisp and clean lines with the elegant florals just in the center a, a little off centered with the little gate it's just a beautiful just cheery card I, I just look at this and it just makes me smile it's kind of a happy feeling card and inside she just did some little corner punches punches there and left it blank so you can put whatever you like in it on to the next card this is from Patricia and there's a lot of pretty things going on first I'll draw your attention again to the flowers and how gorgeous they come out these these are handmade that that it just I like to keep I know I'm break I'm beating that dead horse there um, but I, I just wanted to say how you know they come out so beautiful they don't look to me like they're handmade they look like they're bought so that's how the Nelly does with her punches they're just wonderful the get well soon I think again that's an electronic die cutter and I want to pull out one of my favorite favorite stamps house mouse I don't sell house mouse I used to years ago um, when I could when they were made way back by a different company and I used to sell them but I don't anymore um, but they are so cute and I still love them and I love this idea of slipping this little tag out and it's just not a tag there is there is a card it is a card inside too and it says just to get well wish to brighten your day and this is such a sweet card. I, I would love that card to receive that in the mail. Who wouldn't? Next one was done by Andy again. And there is um, Andy's card. And with Andy's card, I'd like to point out um, the um, Christmas element here. And I, 
I love Christmas and I make Christmas cards all year long here and there and I buy Christmas stuff all year long as do many of my customers it used to be my people who supplied stuff wouldn't release stuff till it was Christmas and I used to get on them and say people make Christmas all year long I know they do I know they do I've always sold it and now finally they do release Christmas all year long and I think that's such a great idea and I want to show you she kind of put like a Christmassy flowers in a pot by the door and that screen door should look familiar that is the Cherry Lynn I believe it's A2164 and um, it comes with a little cat and I think just to not be pro cat Cherry Lynn made it now with a dog but I do believe it's the same door so if you just really want to buy that little dog die I guess you gotta buy the whole door but uh, it, it now has the choice of a dog or a cat the outside branch punch that that is a Martha Stewart punch I'm familiar with that punch and um, and she just took those same roses and made it a Christmas theme which I thought was such a wonderful idea it's a very sweet card and then the last one made by Patricia this is such a pretty card very elegant very beautiful again I want to show those beautiful florals there we go you can see it and you see behind there that background and I already know minds are ticking there about what that is I'll explain the believe that believe was a, a die of I believe oh the same company who make the gazelle printer uh, gazelle electronic hunter their name is eluding me at the moment they made a die just like that and I'm not sure if Patricia has that die or if it, she did get it off of one of her electronic die cutters off one of the fonts the border punch around here I know that's a Fiskars because I have that one in my collection that's a Fiskars punch this beautiful lace intricate background that's coming out in a future die uh, future die a future release that is a creatables it's LR0213 and these fronds here or the little that's been already released I still have it in stock it's LRO157 it's been a wildly popular die um, I don't think anyone was was ready for the success of of this die and what it had when people just added it like Patricia did to accents it, it's just beautiful and I had when I first brought it out it sold out immediately and then kind of like anything else it it just kind of I sell a few here and there and then all of a sudden people started using them on their cards again and I couldn't keep them in stock and neither could my suppliers so they they are very popular I do have a few in stock and whenever something gets out of stock I can always get more until it is retired and some of the Dutch things are starting to retire so if you see stuff in my older videos um, and you like it I'd start ordering them I know some of you were disappointed that um, some of the earlier designables have been retired uh, so just order if it's still on my blog I still have it for sale and I can get it so again I want to draw attention to this beautiful floral design and how because that's what this release is is the roses so uh, punches are very expensive to ship to my foreign friends so I do suggest if you really want these you might look in your area for them because they are it, my a lot of my customers are in Australia my Canadian friends actually shipping isn't that bad uh, but you might want to look around and try pricing because usually the cheapest way to go is the flat rate medium box and that's forty dollars I think now it's up to fifty to, to foreign countries what some people do too is get a large order together or order a bunch of the punches and allow me to take them out of the packaging and then put them into a flat rate box and that does save you some money if you can if you're gonna order a lot of punches or if you're gonna go in with some friends and order a few sets my punches the older ones these new ro rose ones are in stock I've already sold quite a few um, but my older ones I don't stock punches are heavy and they take up a lot of space so I do um, order special order them now and Nellie's still making them so they're still available it just takes me a, a little bit to get them in just because of how much space they do take 
I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed a creative new thing of the sisters having a create-off and the wonderful things they made with it. I think this was a lot of fun for me. I thank you, Susan, Patricia, and Miss Andy. And I hope um, you enjoyed this as much as I did. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.